Hi guys and welcome back to Adam's Two Cents. Today we're doing unboxing on the Bosch Easy Pump handheld compressor. Okay, so actually I ended up buying this, this pump um, because I want to carry it on and use it on my uh, mountain bike or on my motorbike. Um, it makes sense to, to use it and also for light stuff like um, bumping a soccer ball for my kids and uh, um, I generally for safety uh, reasons I don't let air in my compressor so whenever I use my, my uh, garage compressor I end up dumping the air and uh, making sure the tank is empty and vented. Um, so whenever I need to do a light stuff such as bumping a tire, uh, just topping up a tire on a mountain bike or, or a, a ball for my kid, I have to uh, run my uh, 100 liter compressor and this takes some time and it wastes of course energy for no reason because I'm not going to use all this volume of air and um, yeah and it takes some time actually to build up the, the air. Um, so I decided to buy this handheld compressor as a portable one that I can use around the house uh, for small things and I also can use for uh, the occasional uh, outdoor activities with mountain bike, motorbike or even with camping. Uh, the pump is powered as we can see with a 3.6 volt lithium ion battery which it gives about um, I think 10.8 watt an hour. Um, it's a rechargeable battery um, through um, a USB-C um, USB type, uh, type board. Uh, it can push up to 10.3 bar or 150, 150 BSI. Uh, so all this claim will go through it and we'll see if it can actually do, do that. Um, also the pump has a, a breeze set so it, you can set it to whatever value you need and it pumps to that set and stops. So it has an auto stop sort of a, of a thing. So let's go ahead, do the unboxing, then continue our chat. Okay guys, so we've done our unboxing and we're gonna go through the item that comes in. So obviously this is a carry bag. Uh, it's a material uh, or a class carry bag for the, for the pump. We have our uh, USB cable, which is USB-A to USB-C uh, cable. And don't see, I don't see any power adapter with it. So it's basically, I think it uses, let, let me actually check. Ah. So it doesn't come with uh, it doesn't come with own power adapter. It comes only with a USB uh, charge, charging cable, which is as I said USB A to USB C, and it looks like a one meter three foot cable. Let's see. That's I think that's the standard anyway. Oh, yeah, it's about three foot or a meter cable. Okay, of course we get the usual uh, Bosch uh, manual, which is in many languages, so you end up with a very chunky uh, booklet. And we have the, basically the quick, uh, the quick guide for the bump. Okay, the bump itself looks, looks nice and solid. I'm gonna hold it to the camera. Okay. Okay, so just reading reading on the tag at the back, just nothing but the 3.6 3 3 amp hour uh, battery and it is a 10.8 uh, watt an hour, and that's what we said, and the maximum pressure 10 uh, 10.3 bar 150 BSI and made hmm. 
actually made in Germany. Oh, wow. Uh, generally, most of the items will be done in China, but this is actually made in Germany. Okay, so the hose we have, uh, it's about uh, 24 actually on the on the manual it says about 24 uh, centimeters which is about uh, 10 inch so 10 inch hose and it is um, with a swivel so you can swivel it it can swivel okay coming to the pump itself it looks like we have a compartment here and this compartment it has your extra adapters so let's let's get them out Okay, so we have, uh, that is basically what's called the bulk uh, adapter or uh, basically used for balloons uh, and floaties and stuff like that, you know. Uh, then we do have our um, bin uh, adapter um, and this is basically the, for the bolts. It's pin bolt, basically that's what uh, use it to uh, pump uh pump balls and so on and then we have our uh this is a reduction adapter um very small i'm not sure what type of um what type of adapter is that it's i, don't, I haven't seen a fitting that that is small and of course we have our standard uh shredder uh shredder valve so it comes with the standard uh, tire adapter basically which it's connected directly to the to the tire i like about that is nice everything storable in one place which is great so there's no hassle or fuss of losing the items or not having it on you nice okay we have on off button here uh, the the pump has uh, auto shut off so if you use the pump um, you power it on of course this is a screen in three minutes if it's not used it will save it go in a battery saving mode and will switch off okay so that is the on off button um, we have um, we have our screen which is lit it's a lit screen and which is nice so if you are working in the dark it will give you a reading okay we have uh our, the, this is basically the on off uh, this is the on off button and that is the pump start stop this is the pump start stop uh, button all right uh, then we have our preset button which is increase decrease increase decrease button and we have the unit select so the unit select you basically cycle through the units we have uh, a bsi we have kba and we have the bar and uh, currently if you see the dots up there there's nothing selected and we, of course we have our battery uh, our battery indicator and in the battery indicator right now it shows about 50 percent um we have also a work light here um, at the front and you can activate that by pressing the unit uh, the unit button for uh, one second so see yes here it goes okay and to deactivate the same story one second press and off all right so how the whole thing works so we select the what we need uh, say for example i'm going to go increasing here i'm on bars and i'm now right now 0.3 i'm going to go this is basically my preset into one bar and after that i will go wow and stop all right so basically that is where the pump will at this preset the pump will stop so i'm gonna try to go into the lower preset which is a uh, 0.3 of a bar uh, or actually 4.5 base i okay so 0.3 of a bar and i'm gonna try to actually to stop the fitting feet from there and here you go let 
and okay. this is the auto stop all right on the preset there is actually another function on the on the pump which is should you need to pump without uh, selecting presets basically you just need the volume air uh, say for example you you're doing a, a mattress or doing something like that um, and you need just a compressor to work override basically it's got an override function to the preset which if you look here i'm just going to put it on this camera if you go cycling through the presets you will go all the way to the 10 bar okay but if you go in a minus Okay, let's go to the 10 bar, okay. Okay, and right now we 10.3 bar, okay, no more, all right? So if you go in the minus, okay, once you hit the, um, the zero, okay, you will end up with these two dashes. I'm just gonna put it for the overhead camera, and there you'll end up with these two dashes. In these two dashes, you can start the pump, and the bump basically will run indefinite uh, without any uh, this, this is over uh, override the, the the battery saving and it override the limits or the preset units so that's guys that's in a shot in a, that's guys in a nutshell that is basically all what's for the pump i will try it. oh yeah it has a nice neat clamp here at the back I think this is when you store it inside inside the sack basically yeah and of course this is off so it looks solid guys it looks uh, it looks neat it is light uh, as i said it's about one pound uh, or less than one pound is 0.4 um uh, 0.4 of a kg um so it is nice and light um so putting it in a in a in a, a backpack or in a grab bag is not is not a biggie um so i'm gonna do more tests with the uh, with the units and uh, see if it's if it can actually uh do the job proper and i will give you guys a feedback on that okay guys that is all from me and I hope to see you soon in another unboxing or another DIY video. Till the next time, stay safe.